Hello beautiful and welcome. Welcome to today's video. In today's video we are going to create this magical eye look. So if you're interested to see how I came up with this really dark, sultry, sexy eye look then keep on watching. Alright guys, so we're gonna start this off with Juvia's Place Eye Prime Eye Primer in uh, shade 2. Alright, so now that we have our eyes prepped, I want to go with this eyeshadow palette. So this eyeshadow palette is from uh, Colourpop. This is Ballad. And I have not played with this one too much. I think I only played twice. But today, I definitely want to go for a very dark black uh, eye look. So this is going to be interesting because I haven't done this thing ever before so it's going to be interesting and it's gonna be a first for me as well so let's hope for the best we're gonna try um, we're gonna start with uh, I, I know I said I want to I'm gonna start with this but no we're gonna start with this actually I'm gonna go and put this uh, life liner from Huda Beauty and I'm gonna go with the um, pencil one and I'm just going to add this on my eyelid. Because this, it's a very black liner. I've seen so many people doing really beautiful dark lips, um, dark eyes, and... I never tried it. I've seen so many of them and they look absolutely amazing. But I always felt like dark sh uh, shadows are not always looking good on me. So we'll still see if today's gonna be different. I hope so. But I've seen a lot of makeup artists just uh, doing this technique of like applying a dark liner, black liner first, and then going with eyeshadow afterwards. Now I'm just going to take a brush to try to blend that to make it a little bit more uniform. Next we're going to go in this eyeshadow that I talked about. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this uh, shade that is called Epic and I'm going to run that really quickly above the area where I apply this liner. It's a little bit dustier than what I wanted, but it's okay. Okay, and now we're going to take that color, the this one, the darkest one that is called prose and we're gonna put this all over the lid i need a mirror we're definitely gonna pack this on that's why i didn't do anything for my face makeup because i was like this is gonna transfer everywhere this is gonna be dark and ugly and i don't want to try to fix that so I rather go these. I rather do the makeup look first. So I do like the sparkle in this shade, and that's why I wanted to use this because I feel like it offers a, just a little bit of a different, um, a different view with that sparkle in there. Like I said, this. Formula, it is a little bit dustier than what I usually would like to go for. But there is very nice and blendable and really soft as well. So I have this song in my head that I just cannot take it out of there. <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happens? So this song, it is a very old song, but I recently heard it somewhere and just kind of brought back a lot of memories. 
And this song is called uh, Sweet Dreams Are Made Of This. And there, it's just a freaking hilarious song. I love it. But I just can't take it out of my hand. I had it in my head for like at least three days now. And it just doesn't want to go away. Now for uh, the... I think I want to go with a liner too. Because why not make it even crazier. I'm going to do... I'm going to do the other side of the liner from uh, Huda Beauty. You don't see it a lot, but I think that it's still nice enough. Alright, I'm going to quickly do off camera to do the entire... To do the rest of my face and then I'm going to come back to do the under eye and see how everything looks like. Alright, now let's do the under eyes. So for the under eyes, I am just going to go lightly with the liner from Huda Beauty. I think that's what I want to do. I'm not quite sure, 100% sure. But I know I want to do this in my waterline in a little bit on the outside I went with a very bronzy look because I think this works the best with this type of uh, eye look alright so I like how that looks but I want to add a little bit more of that uh, epic like of just a tiny bit on the lower part you know what I mean so I'm going to take a brush and take that epic color and add it right under that black liner. So for the high points of my eyes, I'm going to take the novel one and just swipe it under the brow bone a little bit in the inner portion. I'm going to take that epic color again, I'm just kind of lightly go on this area again. And I think that is the eye look. I'm going to clean under my eyes and I'm going to add mascara. Now I'm not sure if I want to add lashes i do think this look is gonna look amazing with lashes so if you want to add lashes by all means do that but i'm not really big on lashes so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go with this one and then i think i might just go with big ego as well from tarte have these two right here so I'm just going to do Big Eagle first and then I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to quickly do my hair, change my hair, change my outfit and I'll see you at the end to see how this turned out. Here's a look. I went and changed in one of those dresses that makes me feel like, you know, like sexy, sultry, crazy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is how it looks. I really do enjoy. I am kind of, it, it, it's a little bit shocking to me how much it kind of changes my entire eye uh, and my entire face. But I do like it. Definitely this is something that I would not do every so often. This probably I would only wear to a wedding or maybe something like going out late at night or something like that. It's a really interesting makeup look. It did work and it's looking really good. So just so you know, you can totally create this look by using this eyeshadow palette 
and I really do enjoy it. I am a little shocked as how different I look than my daily. But yeah, this is the look. This is how everything turned out. Thank you so much for being here. If you're interested to see this dress, well, stay tuned because I am going to have a video real soon talking about my daily outfits and this is going to be in that video as well. So thank you so, so much for being here. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you all next time. Bye now.